out there greetings to you once again from Gothenburg Sweden and I welcome you to another very interesting episode of the future generation on our last episode I started by giving you letters letters from one two to three and I was reading on this book I said earlier that is a Swedish book and it's a book for the 12 year old um, sorry the one year old children and also two years and three years can learn from it to four years old okay and um, even for the adults who are still going to the Swedish school to read letters and you can also learn from it and like I said this is a very good program for you wonderful youths out there if mama and papa is so busy and you don't have time to play with daddy you can just come and sit with me here and have a nice time I'll bring more interesting episodes for you to watch and today I want to continue from where we stop I don't know if someone remember the letters we stopped uh, was it one two no it was three yes you guessed right and like I said, I too am still learning my Swedish and as I'm reading it to you, I'm learning a lot from it, okay? Now, we will go from number three. I said the number three, it reads here, tre. Yeah, can you see it? Tre, tre. And it goes, um, it said tre crocodile. Hmm. Until still having a challenge learning Swedish and guess what if you are Swedish and you are so interested to teach also please write me ASAP that is ASAP mm? so that you can also teach other youths and children like you okay and also for you speaking English you can learn one two three one two three now we're going to the next one guess what can you tell me what that number is huh can you see it aha uh -huh. can you guess oh let me help you four say four and you know what it's called in swedish it says fira hmm fira so if you're in africa an opportunity for you to learn some swedish huh okay very lovely language as well it says fira hmm? and it says her fira yian gigant tiska giraffe oh guess what I know I think I know what that means it says four giant giraffes wow and see oh they have some beautiful drawings here oh, oh see so cute hmm do you have toys like that at home? You can also create some toys yourself. Maybe in our upcoming episodes, I'll find a way to teach you how to design some new toys. You can construct them with papers or with some materials you can get so handy, okay? And then you have these. Next one is coming, is coming. <gasps> Here you go. I know some of you know that. Five. Oh, five. And that is what it says here. Femme. Femme. They are, they are femme post-vensk. Okay? And it says femme glada grodeur. Hmm. Oi. I'm sure this is frogs. Five frogs. Five frogs. Five frogs jumping in the water. Five, five frogs. Oh, we can sing it for Svenska. We say fem, fem, fem groder. Hmm, yeah. We can also sing here. Hmm. Let's go to the next, next one. Oh, oh. No more next ones. They're just beautiful diagrams here. Wow. It says, we can finish the flesh off. Oh, 
I know my daughter, she used to love this. She calls it ah, 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 ah. It means heart. Oh, heart. And guess what? In our next topic, when we are through with the alphabet, we're going to be talking about love. And it has a lot to do with the heart. Children, I want you to learn how to love. Okay? God is love. And love makes the world beautiful. Love makes everyone happy. And love helps you to respect your parents, respect your teachers, and helps you to be the best of you. So we have love sign here. And I think this looks like a, bear, a bird. And then there's a butterfly. Hmm. Butterfly. They are beautiful colors also. You mean, you see, you have what? I think this is a yellow. You have the blue colors. Hmm. And then you have purple. It's called lila also. Hmm. Also, yes. We can, we can push it. Eh? That means we can go ahead. Yes. And here it says. Hus juren handler de det alltid något. Wow, wow! I think you have a lot of them playing, some playing in the trees, and then remember the leon, the leon we saw in the first page. Remember that? Oh, they're so beautiful. We're gonna draw some of these ourselves in our next more episode coming. Hmm. And then we have some mathematics here. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. I love this book. Hmm. It says here, Se du stjärnan om man orkar mar den stjärnor med två, hur många blir det där? That means if you plus one plus two, what will you get? And I guess that was what? Can you say that? Three. Okay? One plus two. You get three. Huh? Children, you see? You're learning good. You're learning good. Mm -hmm. And the next one, it says two plus two. What are you going to get? Think. Two plus two. Can you can you tell me? Four. Yes, you get it. You get it. Smart girl. Smart boy. Hmm. The same goes here. And you see, if you have one balloon plus two balloon, eight plus two. Three. Great. Great. Then we go this way. This is the suppression. Suppression, you can say minus. You can say take away. Okay? So here, if we say we take away three from one, what are you going to get? Hmm, think. One, two, three. Then you take away one from this. Then you get what? You have two left. Simple. So simple. You see? So if you have three from one, you get what? Two. And that is what? Two. Hmm. Don't worry. The pronunciation gets better. Hmm. And then also, if you have five from four, you get what? One, two, three, four, five. Then you take away one. One, two, three, four, five. And you take one from this. What do you get? Four. You see? And the last one gives, yeah? Four from two. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Oh, Auntie Sans, let me use this one. Okay, this is four. Yes? And we take two away from this. You go. One and two, and you're left with what? Two. That is the answer. So, makes it easy for you when you're in school and they give you an assignment. 
Trust me, you're going to pass very well, okay? Let's go to the next page. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Yeah? Oh, it's the last page. Oh, oh, so beautiful. See those beautiful diagrams. It said, Kandura na fran en til fem dar a dure do for talen sexti ti ele tie. Yeah? Se en tuo tre fira fem sex. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, so bra. Clap for yourself. You did fantastic. You did very well. Very well. Mm -hmm. Let's go here. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you see it? Seven. Mm -hmm. That's eight, two, three, four, five, six. Whew. Wow. I did well too. I did fantastic. Wow. Put your hands together for me. I use my hands. Yes. Let's do this also. Can you can you count with me? One. Oh no. Let's go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And L eight, two, three, four, five, six, two, eight. Yes. Yay. We're moving on. Let's go to the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's try. Eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey, I got it. So, now we're going to continue to read the last one. And that is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Wow, you did excellently well. Put your hands together wherever you are. You did very well. On your own, you can continue to read the letters, learn the letters for yourself from one to ten to begin with. And we can sing with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nine and ten. Eight, two, three, four, five, six, two, eight, nine, ten. Nine, ten. Wow, wow, wow. I'm so happy to be with you today, children. I love you so much. I want you to continue to be good kids. Take your time to read. Take your time to listen to mommy and daddy. Take your time to be loving and kind. Don't bully in the class. Mm -hmm. Listen to your teachers. Listen to your elders and the ones that are older than you in the house. Just be the best of you. Until next time, I have to leave now, okay? I will come back and I will come here with something more interesting for you to watch. Hmm? For now, I say goodbye to you. I love you. God loves you. Jesus loves you. And God cares for you. Be happy. Be strong. Bye.